Hi guys. So I thought I'd do a video on how to make global conversations in Adventure Creator. And I'm not talking about saving conversation topics when you leave the scene and come back. Uh, that's standard Adventure Creator stuff. What I'm talking about is using one conversation game object for your entire game more or less. Uh, what I'm doing, as you can see, a sneak peek uh, in the background here, is I'm building a new little game uh, which is utilizing a notebook. So, for example, if I learn a name, so uh, in my, uh, my game here, there's a girl called Maria. So when I learn the name Maria, I want to be able to ask every NPC in the game about Maria. And the old way of doing that would be to create a, com a conversation object and a conversation topic for every NPC for Maria. And then when I learned everything I want to know about Maria, I would use, need to use some kind of variable and then do a check every time I talk to somebody to turn that conversation topic off for each NPC that I have visited when the topic is no longer valid. What I want to do is I want to create a central game object that controls this across all my scenes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So sorry for the lengthy, lengthy intro, but uh, yeah, hopefully the, uh, the little sneak peek of my uh, latest game in the background here has kept you uh, occupied while I talked. So I guess we should probably jump right into the editor. Hi guys. So uh, I've set up a basic scene here with a hotspot to fake my NPCs. I have a hotspot to leave the scene to go to a copy of this scene with a different background, just to show to you guys that I'm actually changing the scenes and not faking it. There's nothing outside of here. Oh well, oh, there's a camera over there for some reason. Anyway, uh, hit play. These NPCs here have no interactions, I can't click them. This one moves to another scene. Same thing here. Two NPCs, hotspots, I can go back to this scene. So I, I, I built this uh, as a test bed for new functions. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a conversation uh, a game object from, from a, in AC, but I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna create it as an asset file. And that is actually not by default supported in, in Adventure Creator because conversations in Adventure Creator need to be referenced within a scene. So if you have an NPC in scene A and you talk to him, you need to create a unique dialogue tree for that NPC. And anything you want to carry over to, the, uh, to uh, let's say, an NPC in scene B, you would need to use global variables for that. For example, uh, in my game, I have uh, it relies on it uses a notepad function. So basically, I am a detective and I find data points. And every I can ask every NPC in the game of every uh, about every data point that I have collected. And if I were to build that in in regular Adventure Creator, I would need to build. I would like to do like a variable check for each NPC. So I would have a, an, a, an action list that does the check. Oh, have you uh, unlocked this data point? If yes, unlock this topic. Uh, have you unlocked this data point? Okay, unlock this topic. And I need to do that for every NPC. And it gets really tricky once you start removing data points, because then you need to do the same. Every time I talk to the NPC, I need to do a check. Oh, have you unlocked this data point? Yes, okay, have you reached a point where you don't need this data point anymore okay then don't unlock it keep it keep it hidden and this becomes very very complicated uh, very very quickly better way would be to have the conversation saved locally in the asset file folder and use the conversation game object there as a master and then you can just use uh, uh, copies of that within within your scenes as a slave So I'm going to show you how to do that 
it does require some minor coding but it's actually uh, a snippet of code that you can find in the adventure creator manual so this is uh, chris just haven't made the script component yet for it that's it it's in the manual and it's it's so it's best practice for adventure creator to actually do it like it to, to we'll get to it i'll show you what i mean so the first thing we need to do is to create a conversation option and for reasons that would become clear later i'm not gonna use uh, the adventure creator menu to create it because if i do it's gonna put it in the hierarchy and i can't put it within the logic uh, conversations hierarchy over here if i do that we're gonna get some errors so i need to put it in the root so quickest way to do that is either you use this one and then drag it down to the root i'm just gonna do it here create logic conversation and then i'm gonna call this list of topics this object is gonna have three dialogue options the first one is gonna be called test the second one I'm calling unlock a new topic the third one I'm gonna call this is the new topic I'm also Automatically now this remember conversation uh, component gets added, uh, which is very nice that it that wasn't the case when I started with this so I Keep forgetting that This one is gonna need to, you need to check retain in prefab Next step, I'm not sure if this is needed, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do it It depends a bit on what version of AC you're using so it doesn't hurt to do this I'm also gonna add the constant constant ID component which is an adventure creator uh, a component that Chris made it's it's it comes with the install click retain in prefab what happens now is you're getting a reference ID 266034 it's the same on both of these and now when I prefab this okay hang on we're gonna actually do I'm gonna put it in a place where I can find it Okay, so I'm going to prefab this just in my scene folder. So I'm dragging this down here. Now I have a prefab of this. I'm going to click the prefab. And I'm going to check here if the constant IDs are the same as in this within the scene. And yep, they are. 266034. If you do this in, in a different order, uh, these might not be aligned. Uh, so you just need to make sure that they are. If you, if you, you find they are not, just remove this drag in the prefab from here again and uh, it should uh, align these should be be identical to each other okay now we're gonna use this conversation so I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna gonna use the NPC one hotspot in here I'm gonna do it like you always do dialogue start conversation and now if you hit this one you're gonna get the prefab list of topics but it's gonna be the scene reference list of topics and that is not what we want for us this object over here if you can see my mouse that's gonna be the slave we need to add the master the the, the master object which is our asset file uh, and you can't do that by clicking here you have to drag it because this isn't really uh, working as intended. We're, we're uh, abusing the system a bit here. Regularly, I always use this one, override options. Now I can build a unique dialogue tree with these topics, like you usually do. The test, let's do a dialogue. Hello. Copy that. The next one is unlocking a new topic. So it's gonna see, say, uh, I'm unlocking a new topic.
And the third one. This is the new topic. And here, of course, don't forget, we need to actually also unlock it. And that is dialogue, toggle option. And here, one very common error is that you're gonna hit this one, click that, and be done with it. No, drag and drop, can't forget that one. This is the new topic. Set the state to on. Select all, copy go back to the scene also I know I made a mistake edit the prefab disable this topic so now if I hit play it's gonna look like this I only have two topics if I hit this one I'm unlocking a new topic and I talk to this guy again I have the third topic over here and if I go to this scene I, nothing happens because I haven't added it here. Okay, so I need to do that first. So I'm gonna save my scene. I'm gonna jump to the uh, other scene. It's this one. Edit it. I'm gonna actually. I thought I copied it. I did, didn't I? So I'm gonna go back. Uh, oh yeah, save it. Uh, go here. Select all. Copy. Go here scene edit this interaction oh now we can paste it paste this move to front delete we don't need that okay first object is hello second one we're gonna do unlocking new topic and this one here and you can do this this is the new topic on scene two uh, this is the new topic but I am on the scene two or scene B. Maybe. Hello from scene B. And save. So, what we've done now is that we have told. Uh, We have told the interaction here, the action list, to update our prefab list of topics with everything that's happened. But that is not enough. Even though that we update the prefab, it's not gonna work. Why is that? That is because every time you do a scene change, all objects get destroyed and reloaded. So what we need to do is we need to do like they do with a player game object. If I hit play here, you can see that you have a couple of things here. Don't destroy on load. For example, your music ends up here. Uh, I have my player object here. So we need to make sure that our dialogue, our conversation that we put in the That we actually forgot to put in here okay sorry about that uh, doesn't get destroyed okay I know I'm, I'm uh, now I'm gonna confuse things because I forgot one thing so I'm gonna roll back the tape in order for this to work what we're gonna do this is the uh, the boss and this is the employee I'm uh, master and slave yeah I use him using that those terms today uh, in order for this to, to be able to tell what to do, something what to do, it needs to exist. So you still need this conversation uh, game object in every scene in the in the root ob in the root uh, uh, hierarchy. So for this prefab list of topics needs to be copied or needs to be uh, present in every scene that you're gonna use, talk to an NPC always. But what happens is, uh, why it doesn't work is because every time you change scene, this gets destroyed. And we're gonna need to stop it from being destroyed. And instead, it's gonna be persistent, follow you to the new scene, and be updated 
with the data that is retained in the prefab. Because if you destroy it and it loads uh, a new copy of the prefab, it's not going to retain the temporary data that is saved in the prefab because it's going to use this data that is default data and that is that it's not enabled okay i've confused confused things enough just follow along and it's gonna work uh, so how do we do that yes in the prefab we need to add a new component in this component it's going to be a new script i've already created this script so I'm going to show it and I'm going to paste the code to it within in the YouTube comments so you can see it. And it it is called uh, Don't Destroy Me. It's the name of the script. It looks like this. It's a super simple script. It's basically only this. It's a public class. Can I zoom here? Maybe. Oh, sorry. I'll paste this. It's called don't destroy me. It's mono behavior. It's a private void start and it just uses don't destroy on load parentheses game object. That's it. That's the entire script. And this only works if the game object is in the bottom of the hierarchy. And that is why it's so important that we put it in the bottom of the hierarchy. So now if I hit play, fingers crossed, I didn't forget anything, it's going to work. So now, if I hit unlock a new topic, I'm unlocking a new topic. See, this is the new topic. And now I go to scene 2, or scene A. Now the topic is saved. And that is the entire magic of it all and it might seem like a small thing but once you actually try to realize the potential well, when you when you realize the potential of this it's it's gonna be it's pretty cool actually because what this means is that i can now go to this one and i can add every dialogue option that ever gonna be present within the game uh, and the dialogue options in my case are gonna be a notebook which you saw I can show it to you over here for example so for example it's gonna say Ethan where is Ethan and I wanna be able to ask every NPC in the game about Ethan but once I find Ethan which I actually do in act one in this in my my game then i don't want this topic anymore but since the world is open i might be a, i might run into npcs uh, like further in the game than i would like you to be when you find ethan so i need to when i disable this when it's when it's no longer needed uh, to ask people about Ethan, I need I want it removed, and I don't want to use global variables and do a check for every time I do a uh, I talk to a new MC because you can have twenty MPCs. It's gonna the action lists are gonna be huge, and it's gonna be impossible to keep track of. So instead, I'm gonna use this this uh, asset file conversation. In the same way, I can also use this for inventory items. Instead of doing a, a conversation, if you want to ask about, uh, th there is actually an option for that, I think, which is if I go here, I can't really remember which one it is. Yeah, link visibility to inventory item. So for example, if I want to ask NPCs about all the items I'm carrying, I would need to build this for every NPC out there and it would be a pain, as you can see. But now 
I can do it on my central list which I would then branch into so what I would do is I would create a new list of topics so I'm gonna just show you I'm gonna it this isn't gonna work it's just a dummy logic let's do a conversation and this is items then I would do uh, uh, and I would link all these to piece of coal and I link that to inventory item and I would do that as a prefab prefab here as well in the same way as I set this up and then in this for example in the test I would then instead I would run this conversation and in my example here I'm not gonna build everything because we don't have time this list that I'm referencing here would actually okay sorry it would be this list then I would also have a central place of storing all my uh, comment topics regarding the inventory. Okay. I don't. I'm not carrying the piece of coal. That's why it not, it's not working. So carry on start. Here we go. Yeah, piece of coal so this has great potential basically central storage for all your conversational topics it's gonna make your life a lot easier this was a very long video it wasn't meant to be this long uh, super sorry about that uh, yeah hopefully uh, you learned something uh, I did when I did redid this video three times because I forgot steps. Uh, as I said, I'm putting the code to the uh, the script. It's also in the it's in the Adventure Creator manual, but I'll put it on the YouTube in the YouTube description so you can just copy paste it. And I really hope that the, yeah you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, smash that like. Bye.